What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more High Q Season Two. Um, we're doing 17 and 18 today. Oh my God, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I'm going in for a long session today. Um, but for you guys, it's only two episodes for today. But I'm going in for a long session today of, of recording High Q. I'll probably end up finishing the season today. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try to. It's only like, I think it's like seven, um, I want to say seven, eight episodes left in the season. So what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, going for a long session. You guys won't see these episodes at once, but um, for me, it's going to be a long day. So I'm trying to get through pretty much all the series that I have currently on the channel um, so I'm trying to record all this stuff before I come back to YouTube officially, because as you guys know, I've been on a break for a while. I know you guys have probably seen a couple of episodes already. Now that I'm saying this, cause I've recorded like, I think it's like four episodes before, um, I'm saying this. I don't know if I said this on the, on the first intro, but in any case, now you know i'm recording all this stuff behind the scenes before i officially come back to youtube because um you know at least while that stuff is going on i can prep the next series going forward you get what i'm saying so um as soon as i'm finished and i'm ready to start uploading everything and schedule everything for them to be out whenever and ready for you guys then i'll announce to you guys i've officially finished everything on the channel caught up to everything on the channel well probably not everything um like say um i want to say like jojo's is probably going to be one of those series that are probably going to still be ongoing when i come back um but i'll definitely be finishing i pretty i should be finished with everything else haikyuu season three um and four is very short you know what I'm saying? Season four, I think there's supposed to be a second half because I went and checked the episodes to see how much and got them prepped, right? Um, so I think there's only like 10 episodes in season three. I don't know why. Um, but season four is like 13 episodes. I heard there's supposed to be another 12 coming out um, as I've done my research um, about you know what happened or why why the 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 ep, the things are so sharp but i understand it's because of covid why the rest of the season hasn't come out yet it was supposed to come out in july but they canceled it because of covid um it's very understandable very understandable people are not at work people are not working on the stuff you know you got limited staff whatever the situation is but you need a full team to do animation and do all of this stuff so hey totally understandable you know um when it comes on to um going forward with this series i'm definitely as i said i'm definitely going to be caught up with haiku by the time you're seeing these episodes so we can talk about it we can talk about everything so don't hesitate to talk about the stuff in the comment section don't worry about spoilers and and none of that stuff because by the time you're seeing haiku I will be caught up. JoJo's whole different story because there's a lot of episodes. It, like I went and checked to see how many episodes is in each season or parts or whatever. Like Stardust Crusaders is, it, uh, um, is it Stardust Crusader or Stardust Invaders? I don't even remember the title of the freaking part. But the next part I'm about to do in JoJo's is like, I think it's like 40 something episodes in total, right? like 40 something episodes in total and then the next two parts are 39 episodes each like i'm not getting caught up with that before i come back i'm pretty sure of it because um i'm probably not going to be binge watching jojo like that like you get what i'm saying you know i so yeah when it comes on to that you hawker show will definitely be done because it's only like i think it's like 11 episodes i have left of that um and um full metal alchemist will be done i'm pretty sure it's only like i only have like 40 something episodes left to be done on that so i'm gonna binge watch the hell out of that and get that done too so that's for the anime side tv show 
TV show, a um, couple of shows that I'm doing for TV shows, which is The Walking Dead and The Last Kingdom, those will definitely be done too. I'll, I'll be caught up on all of that and ready to start new shows. Um, I've already picked one for the TV show, but who's to say what's going to replace what on the channel? But anyways, let's jump into these reactions and I will see you guys for the review. All right, what's going on, guys? That was episode 17 and 18 of um, season two of Haikyuu, man. Those are two really good episodes. Wrapped up another match, another dub in the books for Karasuno. I'm looking forward to seeing who their next opponent is going to be because either of them, however, Josa would be my preference. Um, but if it's Date, then it's fine. You know what I'm saying? I don't see however, Josa losing. To, to that attack anyway. So, um, as much as I want to see Karasuno um, play any any of these teams, I would prefer them go up against Haoba Josai because that's how the season ended with them losing to that team. So, this would be sweet revenge and it would be a good matchup, right? Um, for them to get to beat that team to get to the monster that is... Shira Toizawa, right? Mr. Uki, uh, Ushi Waka, or whatever they call him, Ushijima, right? So, um, so yeah, I want to see them go up against Hoba Josai again. I don't know, I don't know how it's going to go if they're going to finish out the season with that matchup or they're going to go with, um, as I said, I don't see them being that again. So, Date, Date is not beating, beating, um, freaking Aoba Josai. I don't see them. They got the iron wall. I get it, but they're not on Oikawa's level. Oikawa, is that how you pronounce his name? Anyways, um, so yeah, the team that they just, that they just beat, well, they were okay. They weren't anything spectacular. The matchup between Hinata and their little giant, if you want to call it that, was, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't as it wasn't as entertaining. It wasn't a... The only thing that I... I'm, I'm mumbling with my words right now. Um, when it comes on to what happened during the match, I wouldn't say it was a overly exciting match where, you know what I'm saying, like the hype was on a, 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 a another level because this is a school that we never really heard of before. I, I'm pretty sure they're not one of the top four schools. They're just one of those schools that are good, good, right? Um, and think they can take down Karasuno because Karasuno is they're, they're they're a wild card in the tournament in the tournament right now. They're a wild card. They, they're they're um a Cinderella story of sorts when it comes on to um their school and you know the rumors about them and all this other stuff and the resurgence. Of this fame that they used to have because of the little giant that they had on their team before uh, but now they're considered kind of the dead team the flightless birds and all of this other stuff that they call them and stuff like that so um, to me this team this matchup it wasn't as exciting but it was still enjoyable um, you know I'm glad that they introduced the aspect of injury in this in this anime um, they've never done it before they've never done it before in the anime um, and I like when you include all the aspects of if you're going to do if you're gonna portray something that actually happens in real life and it's not necessarily fantasy you get what I'm saying um, you need to include all the aspects of it everything that could possibly happen in the game you have to include that so i really appreciated the fact that they introduced injury into the series i think i said this or probably i didn't in the last reaction that i did when daichi actually got injured um but i'm glad that they did that and they and they didn't let him come back too because a lot of time that happens in sports where a, a, a player gets injured and they don't play the rest of the match and it, and they're missed you get what i'm saying sometimes they come back sometimes they don't especially if it's it was pretty early he could have came back as he said at the end he could have came back but he didn't want to interrupt the rhythm right that they had 
You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like they were they weren't losing, but it was a close third set, right? So, in my opinion, they did a very good job of introducing injury into it. Um, so I really appreciated that. But in any case, man, um, going forward, when it comes on to to this anime, what I'm looking forward to, I've already said that I'm looking forward to them playing Aoba Josai again. I think that's what's going to. Maybe they're going to close out the season with that matchup, or we may. I, I don't know what they're going to do. I'm going to be honest. I think they're probably going to close out with that matchup again because, you know, to create hype. If From a writing standpoint, that's what I would do. That's what I would do. Um, as I said, I don't see Oba Josai losing to, to Date. Like, that's not going to happen. I, I, I don't see that happening. But in any case, um, so, yeah, man, I love the relationships, man. The things that they portrayed, um, you know, I talked about it in, in, I think it's the last reaction I did where I was talking about the OSTs and stuff like that. It's an incredible, credible um, OSTs that they have in this anime. As I said, it's not on a, you know, like a, a My Hero Academia Naruto level yet. Um, to me, to me, I don't think it's up there in that tier of, anime legendary osts yet like it's it's there but it's not quite there it's more like a um it's top tier but it's not s tier you know what i'm saying like it's up there but it's not really up there so it's it, it's there because the emotional one especially the, the emotional one the one that they play during like inspirational scenes like when daichi was talking to the guy that replaced him i don't remember his name um the guy that uh, is is it Inadichi? In an in I can't remember. I don't remember his name. I okay. Um so like when Daichi was talking to him, the OST that plays during those moments, I that's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. Um so yeah. Um there's another main theme that happens throughout it that I really like to can't remember any place where I can give you guys an example of when it of where it played um, but I will point it out next time if I remember anyways thank you guys so much for always supporting these videos man you guys have been awesome and great um, so keep liking the videos keep leaving comments man and I will catch you guys next time for some more Haikyuu I got plenty more to record today hopefully I can get through all of them um, because I just got a phone call. I know you guys probably heard my phone ringing in the background. So I just got a phone call and my mom said I have to come come get dinner. Which is Jamaican parents, they do that. <laughs> you know, they just call you and be like, hey, I got dinner. Come get it. <laughs> you know, because they're not, they not going to come drop. Well, sometimes she does drop it off. But for the most part, she always calls me to get it. And it's like, if you're, if you're longing for home cooking and, and stuff like that, like my, my girl, she doesn't cook like traditional Jamaican food. And plus, she's not cooking shit for me right now because she's, I'm not allowing her to do that. You get what I'm saying? Um, so, and she's still recovering. So, when it comes on to, to that aspect of it like i have to so i have to break my session right now my recording session to go and pick up this food not gonna take me long probably like 10 minutes or so i'll be back so um it's awesome thank you guys for tuning in as always i will catch you guys next time man tear bite out peace